creation. I think that's the one with the brown clothes, but uh, I can't even remember. It's been a while since I've seen him, but let's now jump in. Macaran rocking that variation, which he uses the most. I think that boiling point being so important, but Dagadans, you know Law Corridor is a flawless block machine. So that parry with Scarlet going to be pretty much mandatory, I think. You need to create that mind game already. Yeah, wow, look at this. Both players playing at a perfect range. Both throwing out a ton of options, but everything is just being blocked. This is a real masterclass of how to play in the neutral. Just play this footsies game. But finally, a grab's going to hit. Maybe a little bit too much patience from Long Corridor. And yeah, the chip is adding up definitely more in the favor of Macaran, just considering the fact that most of these are projectiles as opposed to the normals from Joker. But oh, wow, maybe trying to pull his block. Maybe, I don't know what that was. Just got a hit. We're getting some information too, right? Staggering that one, two with Scarlet, and then you see that Law Corridor releases block and blocks again. Man's looking for that breakaway. Uh, and he's looking for the flawless block beforehand. The reversal. Immediate throw tech. Wise to the stagger is Law Corridor. He is well aware of the situation. And he's making those call outs. We are playing on that next layer. We've only just begun. That down one's going to take the first round, but a clean round for both players. That was like the most grounded, patient, footsies based round I've ever seen in my entire life. They just slowly walked to the corner, just pressing buttons, each taking turns. That was very weird to me, but hey, it's cool. And that is a lot about what this matchup is going to be, right? Both characters known for having these incredibly good range normals. However, Joker can play a little bit more wild if he so wants to. And I think maybe Lock Corridor is saving that for a moment when he needs to kind of make a surprise uh, shift, I guess, in pace. Oh, but not needing it right now. Doing super well in this matchup. Just getting these small hits here and there. But Joker's, even Joker's small hits are a lot of damage. So speaking of a lot of a damage, the first full conversion that we're seeing pretty much the entire day. Lord Corridor is no stranger to the empty jump down two. That is entirely a flawless block bait to try and get a down two KB. And he does it a lot in tournament. However, that's the round. That is the round. Two hits into Fatal Blow, but this is Scarlet <laughs> we're talking about. Yo, pay attention to the damage. Yeah, plus, I mean, on top of that, 4-4 is a pretty strong string to begin with. A very, very good string if you can use it effectively, and if you can confirm it well, then, hey, you get exactly what we just saw. So, good stuff. Fatal Blow now gone, though, which is a pretty big deal. That is one that we do see a lot, and, I mean, that was absolutely worth it, right? There was no other way you were going to confirm that round, and that was really close. But, I mean, Block is still going to have his when he gets down to that amount of life. Oh, this is the sweep. Big deal. Yeah, looking for the ender. I mean, the bulk of the damage is already done, thankfully, but every little helps in this kind of matchup. Uh, some kind of call out there from Macaran blocks the jump in, but eats the rest of it. Another launch, and we're in the corner now, so it just gets even more punishing. Oh. Macaran's in big trouble, and at that position, I mean, that was a mid, that was a stagger, that was a grab. Either way, a hard call out to make, and Law Corridor, yo, no mercies here. We're serious wow. today. Hey, you know what? It's the monthly finals. There's more on the line. Maybe, you know, it's just time for serious mode. Although, you know, we did talk about last time that we saw Law Corridor doing very well. Uh, he was saying that he wanted to like get back into like the normal Law Corridor mindset and, uh, you know, do some some fun little mercies and disrespectful enders. But uh, I mean, I, I really thought that that was making him play better. But I mean, he's looking great today. He's not doing that yet, at least. So we'll see what the uh, the whole general mindset going into the rest of this tournament is. Regardless, I mean, I think it's looking good. And I wouldn't be surprised if we did see the switch to Cetrion. Oh, maybe not. Wow, immediately back into Scarlet. But you have to go into a matchup again, knowing that Law Corridor, he hates fighting Cetrion so much that it's probably one of his most studied matchups. Mm -hmm. So it's like... What do you realistically think gives you a better chance here? Is it going to be the more unorthodox pick that not everyone uses, which is Scarlet, or a character that everybody uses, and at the same time, you know Law Corridor, as much as he hates the matchup, hasn't played it extensively. So it's kind of hard to say what character would be quote-unquote better for this kind of matchup. You know, one thing I really hope they add one day is the ability to choose which tournament appears in this tournament background. Because I kind of miss it. I miss that competitive season where it all appears like CEO and Combo Breaker, ECT. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that would be cool. Uh, I mean, especially just the fact that it changed like the whole stage so much, right? Yeah, so I know, I, right? Yeah, I, I uh, miss those for sure. That would be cool. Uh, petition. Let's sign a petition. ECT was my favorite, but I'm a huge sucker for like classic Mortal Kombat, so I guess I'm a mm. bit predictable in that sense. <laughs> Okay, well, anyway, here we go, down to about 20% life already. I mean, that was quick. That's what we're talking about, tournament stages. But Macran, you know, staying confident with the pick, and it looks like it's paying off. 
Oh, Everyone but has more careful. of a ranged game so far, Chef. That's a, that's one of the big deals. Trying to punish Kapow with Sweep. Now, speaking of, bam! Simple round and being able to play that ranged game, which Scarlet does so well. Tried to rush down in the last game and just wasn't able to get an upper hand. I think the change of pace is what we're seeing here. Yeah, the it, I mean, it's tough, right? you got to be in a range where you can play your game, but just barely outside of the range where Joker can play his. So this is such a movement-oriented matchup. Even though it doesn't really look like it, nobody's zooming around the screen, it's all these, like, micro-spacing situations where you're like, yeah, I'm just outside of his suite. Exactly like that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for uh, for showing exactly what I was saying. Just outside of his sweep, so I can whip punch it with my own sweep or stuff like that. Wow, this defense, this iron defense from Macaran and two heals. That's going to make that divide between health much more significant. Happy to block once more, keeping a really comfortable lead. Staggering individual hits so much, Chef, that the flawless block, by the time you think you can do it, maybe you're not prepared. I, I cannot tell you how much I'm enjoying watching this match, by the way. Just the style that these two are playing, it's almost like they've just decided to, like, both just try to play each other's game and just see who can play this mid-range more. Like, I don't remember the last time either of them even, like, jumped, basically. They're just choosing to stay 100% grounded. Oh, no. Here we go. Full launch. Probably going to, yeah, get the side switch. Nice execution. Meet mid because he had the grab as the ender of the last game. Getting clipped. A grab is fantastic, but look at the clock! Gives him the life lead, oh, oh. narrowly. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, oh no! Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Short hop! Short hop meta, we in there! Oh, and he made the right read using the blood tentacle too, but he was just slightly misspaced, or maybe mistimed, I guess you could say the same thing. And fortunately, wow. I mean, unfortunate for Macron, but amazing clutch from Lock Porter, and that's got to feel great. You can already see that he's he's moving really well this time. It looks like he's holding some momentum. Oh, yeah, you're going to be feeling yourself. We know Lord Corridor, an incredibly confident player. All I do is watch any one of his streams to know that. Nice knockdown and confirm, mixing things up. Looking for the far teleport, and that will be spent. Macaran escapes the corner, but by doing so, loses the defensive meter. So that is going to be a trade-off here. Big damage, though, and we cash out on both of them. A safe jump into a down one. That would not have been beat by a wake up attack. Oh, uh -oh. with punish. All right, assumes a breakaway. Maybe could have gone for a little bit more. No, that didn't. Well, yeah, that was breaking. That was for meter for sure. But all right, gonna get the grab. No crushing blow loaded. Just needs a little bit more damage. But fatal blow is available, so any cancel could end this. Oh no! No, no. that was a missed input from Macaran. I'm pretty sure. Well, okay, this shouldn't be it, right? This shouldn't be it. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be down to just about chip life, but this is a projectile trade away even. Oh, and I'm getting a little bit more chips. Oh, it's a two one. Oh, almost able to get the hit in time, but not quite. And that is two heartbreakers, two gigantic heartbreakers in a row for Macaran, but Law Corridor taking perfect advantage of both situations given to him. That was just like, you look at that situation and he had to play perfect, but it was the pushback on the forward one four string that caused so much of it that if you try and low poke, like that's clearly a situation that Lord Corridor has been in before. There are a lot of players out there that will do certain moves, the entire string, a similar like Sub-Zero when he does his full back three string even, where it pushes so far back that you bait a button because you know it whiffs. And in that case, that's exactly what he was looking for. And wait, Mirror? No, no. I've never seen Macaran ever play this character before. Yeah, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Here we go. Okay. Okay, so I, I do have to say, still, I enjoyed watching that Scarlet Joker match so much. They literally, like, never jumped at each other. It was literally just them testing each other's ability to play at that mid-range, which was sick to see. But, oh, okay, well, you know, I'm I'm really still surprised that we're not seeing the Cetron, right? I mean, at this point, they're pl both playing so solid that it's going to be really hard to make a three-game comeback. It's going to have to be just incredible play from Macaran. We are going to see the same variation, all the same things. I'd expect to see that all the way through from both sides now. But, I mean, hey, the Cetron could have definitely worked, and it certainly would have changed the style of the match a lot. Now let's jump into potentially the last game here between these two, as Lord Corridor currently 2-0 up, but with Macron playing so clean, we could have a, a long climb back into a game five at this rate. Macron doesn't have the fastest rounds in the world, because that's just not the nature of Scarlet. She 
has to play the game at a slightly slower pace. It's just how she caters to the mechanics, right? The range, the button. You have to kind of chip it down piece by piece. Boiling point definitely helps because of more damage. Yeah. But I think that he's going to get consistently out damaged by Lord Corridor, you know, because you can confirm into Kapow, that's always going to be giant damage on tap. Oh! Oh, and the parry. All right, everything now working out for Macaron. Yeah, that flawless block was beautiful. And of course, one of the only up threes that's actually going to reach far enough to be able to actually punish that in the 2-1 from Joker. Uh-oh, but here we go. Big damage down two. Look at this. The cancel getting almost 400 damage for one bar. Oh, yeah, you have to break away there. Oh, no. One more grab away. This shouldn't be the crushing blow, right? Yeah, too, too long, just barely. Didn't confirm, didn't commit. Teleport, back to back poke, and there's nothing oh. you can do to shut down the inevitable chip without last breath to save your skin. We're going into a final round here for Law Corridor. This is his match point. And if he takes this round, he will be moving on. Forward throw, starting things off nice and strong here. Macaran, plenty of work left to do, but I want to believe. I always do. I mean, every single round is so, so close, but it's just been really who can clutch out these final moments, and it's been Law Corridor mostly every single time. I mean, this has been one of the closest two O's that, uh, that I think I've ever seen. This feels like we've been watching this for an hour and a half, but I mean, in a very good way. Oh no, gets clipped. That is a string that just hits so many good players. It's really similar to Jackie 122 in its own way. Or sorry, 112. One, all right, here we go. Starting the zone again, though. Building a lot of space. And that's gonna, this is going to be when Scarlet's the strongest. Ooh, Flawless blocked, but actually didn't challenge. Didn't believe in the block. Clean with Punish on that 2-1-2. Two, two. You can sometimes forget just how much range that standing 2 has for Scarlet. He extends. Ooh. Nice use of the teleport. It was a regular teleport, though, so Macaron doesn't have to lose his defensive bar to get out of that one. Heal. Okay, here we go. I like that. You like watching a Scarlet player kind of just buffering the Amplify on the regular projectile, just in case it hits. I mean, if it hits, it's free health. You may as well do it. It's a built-in option select, basically. Yeah. It's also slightly more advantageous for whatever reason, uh, but uh, yeah, you take them both. You take them both, absolutely. But here we go. All right, gets a, gets a very solid round that time, which is uh, really the way that Macran wants to win, right? You want to just never let Law Corridor in. You just want to always find your space, always find your ways to get out of the corner. But right now, I mean, that's going to be the uh, the real test. Oh, that's a good way to do it. Oh, just goes into the teleport. That's such a cool ender. You just, you're like, hey, you know what? I'll just side switch. I won't take the damage. It's more important. There it is again. He's going to short hop of his own. Oh, wait a minute. Am I able to cash out? Yeah, the delay, just in case. Dash in, grab. That's going to almost equalize the health here. Patience. Oh, flaws block into it. Oh, and look at this. Corner pressure is going to begin. Oh, duck the standing two, but didn't get a full conversion from it. Again, just not a lot of faith that these little single hits are going to connect. I mean, I understand it's a lot safer. And they're kind of playing that style here where they're just throwing out like counter hits. Hit. Oh, no. Oh, he's got no breaker. There's no point breaking now, surely. Saves himself from it, but I actually, I'm going to be honest, I kind of question that usage. You know a down two is coming. Never mind. Fantastic stuff. <laughs> Macaran's able to find that hit. I was really worried for him, actually, uh, because when he broke that down two, it's like we all know a down two is coming. Realistically, how much damage was he going to save himself from? And could he have used that meter later? Thankfully, that's not even a problem that presented itself because he was able to find that hit, confirm into Fatal Blow, and keep himself alive. Now, these are... Longer games for sure, but that's just the nature of this matchup, and we could be in for longer still. Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, I mean, this is uh, this is. I like I said, it's already a really long match, even with the fact that it was two zero. But I do like to see Macaran uh, really like coming back into this set. This has been a really fun one to watch, and uh, of course, you know, just as a side note, anybody out there who wants to sign up themselves or wants to see how to watch more of these tournaments. Go to compete.playstation.com right down there. You see it uh, because there's definitely going to be a lot more tournaments, not just for more combat, but for a lot of other Best games to watch the in the future or, you know, to compete in. You could be uh, one of these players that's here. And so I, yeah, okay. So we, we did see the exact same variation coming in. 
uh, which does make a lot of sense. I think you want to stay solid at this point, right? You want to just play the game that you've been playing and just hopefully try to make those clutch last moment decisions again. And that's going to be the biggest deal of this matchup. As always, I've seen another comment in chat room that asks about why players don't do fatalities. You can, there's nothing stopping you from doing finishing moves in this game, but it's, yeah, that was sick. Uh, it's very much a, a thing that players often don't do it because it just takes a while. And if you're kind of in the moment, you're, you're, you're feeling the flow of the match and stuff. Sometimes finishing moves, they just take such a long time, they take you out of your momentum. And players often just don't do it. They'll fatality at the end, almost to kind of put an exclamation point on the end of a set, but mid-set, it can be seen as a little bit of a time waste. However, what? sometimes they use fatalities to make you have to wait, right? So it can be used as a mind game. Can you believe, what kind of world are we living in where we're watching Lock Horror and somebody's asking, why aren't they doing finishers? <laughs> yeah, someone who normally fatalities and mercies every single match, but not today, apparently. I know. What what incredible timing. Yeah, I mean, if anybody wants to go back and watch any of Lockhorn's other tournaments, you will see plenty of uh, finishers, whether it be brutalities or fatal blows that are delayed or, oh, crushing blow. Nice. They're not going to get anything off of that but the damage. But at this point, that's all that matters. A life lead's going to be so hard to come back from for Scarlet. That's going to be the big difference, I think, in this matchup, too, is that Scarlet, it's hard for her to open up anybody. She just takes her damage from Chip from whiff punishing, and then Joker has that comeback potential pretty much always, especially once he gets in that fatal blow range. We see the first Eight blow. seconds. Oh. He, he can get grabs now. You know, if, unless there's an escape failed, he can afford to just sit here and block for the rest of the round. And there is no way uh, Macaran is going to be able to open up that much damage that left to go. Now, another match point here for Law Corridor, but Macaran proven to withstand the test of tournament time. So we'll see if this comeback is possible. Another empty jump down two to bait the flawless block. Thankfully though, Macaran not gonna bite. Yeah, I, at the end of the last round, I would actually oh, like to see the attempt. Yeah. Oh, okay, big breakaway. And here we go. This is a launcher only in the corner. Gonna get absolutely max damage off of it. Gonna spend the second bar. Yes, look at this, 335. That's big, oh, wake up down two though. Well, oh. I've actually just been informed that we have the Twitch front page, which has no doubt introduced a bunch of new viewers. Welcome, everyone. You are currently watching our monthly finals for April for the MK11 Open Series here as part of PS4 tournaments. This is currently match point for Law Corridor, currently playing as the Joker. And it's a pretty nice little prize pot for a monthly finals. You got that $400 for first place, $300 for second, then it kind of goes down to third and fourth. And I think these are two players that just grind constantly anyway. And uh, no stranger to an open series setting, but this ranged game, Macaran <gasps> fighting tooth and nail for the comeback and can still make it. Let's go. Oh, that was such a scary spot. I'm telling you, this match is constantly coming down to these final hit moments. But at that point, Macaran just barely making the right call. If that had been jumped over that blood ball, that would have been a really unfortunate situation. But I mean, now look at this. Macaran has the corner, has all the advantage here, has the first combo of damage. And so now, okay, well, actually, Lock Quarter fighting out. I was going to say, Macaran can take this to a game five after being down 0 2. And that could be huge, great flawless block. Going to force all that defensive meter out. Oh, my. God, that the whip? short hop whiffed. I haven't seen the short hop whiff like that in a very long time. And now a full combo for Lord Corridor getting a whiff punish. The clean jump in. Thankfully, the 2 1 pushes Macaran far enough away that he's not going to get punished. But that forward two definitely will do it. And there's a break. No attempt. The call out made by Lord Corridor. And that's a counter hit. The down two is going to come out. And now there's nothing he can do. Lord Corridor coming in with the disrespect just in time. Is it going to be a mercy? Oh, nah. It's a this is not going to be a friendship. Surely not. Nope. Yeah. Definitely yep. a finish him. Definitely a fatality. <laughs> okay. But, okay. Seeing this from Log Corridor. Okay. Here it is. Boing. But, okay. That shows how much respect he has, I think, for 